Now, in an ENCA exclusive, Norma Ngoma is spilling the beans on her marriage to former minister Malusi Gigaba. She is in a legal battle with her estranged husband currently. Our reporter, Selene Dilo Masikani, spoke to her about their marriage, his alleged ties with the Guptas, and bags of cash. Norma Gigaba, or should I say Norma Ngoma? Ngoma. Norma Ngoma. It's been a tumultuous couple of months, um, also kind of a tumultuous couple of years with the new marriage. But let's start with the name change, the reinvention of Noma Mgoma. Who is Noma Mgoma? Noma Mgoma is the person that I, who I am, that I've always been. Uh, then Noma Kikaba found Noma Mgoma on the way. And when that didn't work, then I decided, let me go back to my surname, because the other surname served the purpose until it ended. And I felt like it no longer served the purpose on me. So I was like, oh, let me go back to my surname, because that's who I am, and that's where I come from, and that's what I'm comfortable with. You're reclaiming your surname. What does it mean? What does it mean for your marriage? Because I want to put that aside. I want to close that chapter, because I don't want to be there anymore, so I want to be myself, uh, be known as who I am, like my family, my roots, and to be comfortable about that same name. So I don't want to be clinging or be attached to people's same names. So is it safe to say that uh, divorce proceedings are underway? Yeah, we're, we're on the way. And in terms of the breakdown in your relationship, uh, we've seen it play out a lot in the public space, um, allegations of extramarital affairs. Um, I mean, from the moment you were married in 2014, uh, these allegations started surfacing. Um, you've come out defending him um, in many cases. Um, the most recent one being a video <laughs> that was apparently for you. Um, I'm keen to know if you, if you ever, did you ever receive this video? That was not my video. Like, I don't want to lie, uh, I've never imagined something like that <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> so it was not for me, so I don't know it was for who. So I don't even know that he knows who did he send to you, because there are a lot of those, So, but they are his videos, they are not mine. And in terms of how we find ourselves here, in terms of the events that have been playing out mm -hmm. since July, uh, since your arrest, um, take me back to that day, take me back to why we find ourselves here, why you find yourself in court. Ah, uh, that one. Uh, I can't even put it into words, uh, but I will find time when I will put it into words when the court proceedings are over, like because everything is still in the process and I wanna respect the law uh, about that one, but I'm not sure like how we ended up there, but the court proceedings, like everything will be, will unfold itself, you know, like we'll find out in the trial, like the day's over. So in, at that time, I will say my side of the story, like all the whole detail. But just because everything is in the court meter, so I have to respect the law. But in a nutshell, I think everything is, is all is about like to get to my gadgets, that's, uh, that's all. So all the other stuff, it's the other stuff. Mm. Yeah. Your gadgets. What is on your gadgets that you think <laughs> somebody would want to get their hands on your gadgets? Um, I can't put myself in his head, but what I think is just like most of the stuff, uh, it's a paranoia on his side, what I know, and also because we've been traveling together, and also I think maybe most of the stuff is like we visited the compound together, the Gupta house, which I think maybe he thinks I took the pictures of some meetings because most of the time when there were meetings there, I was there, although I've never joined any meetings, I used to sit on the side or we'll sit in another room. Um, although they used to ask us to leave our phones outside, but like 30 minutes later, I used to get bored, so I will go fetch my phone. So uh, I think this year, when he was started preparing for his head capture, which he started, he started last year. So this year he was asking me a couple of questions. Do you still remember? 
when we're discussing the appointing of people, we're like, no, I never sit in any, any meeting. So he's so paranoid what I know. And also because our marriage is not there anymore. And also he saw that I, I want to leave. But now he was worried about what I know, you know. So my phone, when we travel, some of the trips that we took, and I love taking pictures. Like, I love to take safe, selfies. So for me, I didn't know most of the pictures were secret. I only knew, like, recently when he was asking me about, because when I used to ask about certain things, to me, he used to say um, he declared them. So, or maybe it's gifts or it's favors because he did favors. So I didn't know what kind of favors that way happened between him and the Guptas because I've never sat with them. I never even received a call from the Guptas, but I know them because we're frequently there.